Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. What do you think about abandoned ships? You might immediately imagine eerie, dirty, and even haunted shipwrecks. While that is indeed true, in reality, there are many abandoned ships in the world that offer stunning and unique views while still holding history and mystery within them. Here are 15 amazing abandoned ships that have been discovered. SS Yongala SS Yongala was a passenger and cargo steamship built in 1903 in Newcastle, England. After its construction, the ship was purchased by an Australian company, the Adelaide Steamship Company. SS Yongala measured 106.7 meters in length, 13.8 meters in width, and could reach a maximum speed of 16 knots or 30 kilometers per hour. In March 1911, the ship met with a tragedy due to a cyclone while crossing the Whitsunday Islands region. At that time, SS Yongala was sailing from Melbourne to Townsville, Queensland. All passengers and crew on board were declared dead in this accident. 32 years after the accident, the wreckage of SS Yongala was finally discovered by an Australian minesweeping vessel during World War II. Investigations were conducted a few years later, confirming that the wreck was indeed that of SS Yongala. Peshtigo and St. Andrews Peshtigo and St. Andrews were two legendary American ships that collided on Lake Michigan on June 25, 1878. During the incident, Peshtigo was en route from Pennsylvania to Chicago carrying a cargo of coal while St. Andrews was traveling from Chicago to New York with a load of corn. The collision happened swiftly and within just 10 minutes, both ships sank. Their wrecks remained undiscovered for 141 years. The Sweepstakes Next up is the sail ship The Sweepstakes. Built in 1867 in Ontario, Canada, this wooden halt vessel, measuring 36.3 meters in length, operated as a cargo ship around Lake Huron. In August 1885, the ship sustained damage in Cove Island while carrying a load of coal. The sweepstakes was subsequently towed to Big Tub Harbor in Fathom 5 National Marine Park, Ontario. Unfortunately, attempts to repair the ship failed and it ultimately sank in September 1885. Today, the wreck of the sweepstakes lies at a depth of 6 meters and it can still be clearly seen without the need for diving. Mediterranean Sky The Mediterranean Sky, also known as MS City of York, was built in 1953 to serve routes between London, the Canary Islands, and various coastal cities around South Africa. This combined passenger ship could complete the journey from London to Cape Town in just 15 days. In 1996, tragedy struck as the Mediterranean sky became grounded in Eleusis Bay, Greece, where it remained for six years. In 2003, an attempt was made to tow the ship to shallower waters, but it capsized and sank again. Since then, the Mediterranean sky has been left partially submerged with half of its body underwater and the other half above the surface. Yanis D. Yanis D was a bulk carrier ship built in Japan in September 1969. Measuring 99 meters in length, it operated routes between Mediterranean ports and Egypt, Saudi Arabia, and Yemen. In April 1983, while traveling from Croatia to Yemen, Yanis D encountered difficulties while navigating the Suez Canal. 
the ship mistakenly took a wrong route towards the Red Sea and continued at full speed, eventually colliding with Shab Abu Nuhas and sustaining severe damage. The collision occurred during a storm, exacerbating the damage and Yanis D sank. Today, the location of Yanis D's sinking has become a popular diving site for enthusiasts from around the world, thanks to its proximity to resorts, making it a must-visit destination in the Red Sea region. Fujikawa Maru The cargo ship Fujikawa Maru was built in 1938 and operated by the Imperial Japanese Navy to transport aircraft during World War II. On February 17, 1944, this 133 meter long vessel was hit by American torpedo bombs in Chuok Lagoon, enduring multiple bombings until it sank along with its crew. Remarkably, the Fujikawa Maru wreck is now a diving site where divers can explore nine Mitsubishi-made aircraft wrecks including the A5M Claude fighter planes along with various Japanese Navy armaments. The Titanic The Titanic is one of the most famous maritime disasters in history. This British-built passenger ship commenced its maiden voyage in April 1912, sailing from Southampton, England to New York City, USA. However, while crossing the North Atlantic Ocean, the 269-meter-long ship struck an iceberg, damaging five of its 16 watertight compartments, and the ship eventually sank, resulting in the loss of 1,514 lives. Today, the wreckage of the Titanic lies at a depth of 3,784 meters and remain one of the most haunting maritime disasters in history. USS Arizona USS Arizona is a well-known American battleship constructed in the early 1910s. It began its service in 1916 at the onset of World War I. In 1940, the USS Arizona was stationed at Pearl Harbor to join the United States defense against the impeding Japanese forces. On December 7, 1941, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, targeting the American fleet. The USS Arizona was struck by enemy bombs, which caused extensive damage. A total of 1,177 officers and crew members perished, and the ship sank. In commemoration of this tragic event, the Pearl Harbor National Memorial was established at the site of the USS Arizona's wreckage, allowing visitors to see the ship's remains from the surface of the water. Edward Bolin Unlike ships that sank in the sea, the Edward Bolin ship ended up stranded in the desert over 400 meters away from the nearest water source. This 94-meter-long vessel weighing 2,272 gross tons began operating in 1891 and spent parts of its career transporting passengers and cargo along the African coastline. In September 1909, the Edward Bolin ship ran aground while traveling from Swakopmund, Namibia to Table Bay, Cape Town, South Africa due to a storm in Conception Bay, Namibia. Initially, the ship sank in the ocean, but the expanding desert landscape eventually exposed the ship's skeleton. To this day, the wreck of the Edward Bolin remains in the Namibian desert. MV Panagiotis Similar to Edward Bolin, the MV Panagiotis also ran aground on land. The wreckage of the MV Panagiotis can be seen on Zakynthos Beach, Ionian Island, Greece. Built in 1937 in Scotland, this 47-meter-long vessel had a top speed of 10 knots or 19 kilometers per hour. While the cause of the ship's grounding remains a mystery, several stories suggest that the MV Panagiotis was involved in smuggling operations in 1980. 
According to local legends, on Zakynthos Island, the ship was suspected of making a journey from Turkey carrying contraband cigarettes for the Italian Mafia. MS World Discoverer Originally named BEWA Discoverer, this ship was built in 1974 in Germany. Measuring 87 meters in length, it had an unusual route including voyages to Antarctica. In 2000, while departing from Antarctica, MS World Discoverer struck an underwater obstacle in Solomon Islands. Fortunately, the ship's captain quickly sent out distress signals and all passengers were safely evacuated. The wreck of MS World Discoverer still lies tilted and rusted in Roderick Bay in the Solomon Islands. SS Maheno SS Maheno was a Scottish-built cargo ship constructed in 1905, serving voyages to Australia, New Zealand, Tasmania, and Vancouver. This 121-meter-long ship could accommodate up to 420 passengers. In 1935, while sailing from Sydney, SS Mahino encountered a severe storm that broke its towing line. The ship eventually ran aground on Fraser Island and was left to deteriorate by its crew. The wreckage of SS Mahino can still be seen on the beach of Fraser Island today. Cabo Santa Maria Cabo Santa Maria was a transatlantic ship that frequently traversed routes between Europe and America. In 1968, the ship was carrying valuable cargo, including a church bell intended for a new church in Brazil. Unfortunately, Cabo Santa Maria grounded off of Cape Verde and the shipwreck remains on the shores of Boa Vista to this day. Luckily, there were no casualties in this incident. The Tears of Allah Originally a suspected drug smuggling ship seized by the Bahamian government, The Tears of Allah was sold to James Bond film producer in 1983. The ship, also known as Bond Wreck, measures 27 meters in length and now rests at a depth of 14 meters off the coast of New Providence, Bahamas, where it was sunk for use as a film shooting location. USS Kitiwake Lastly, USS Kitiwake was a rescue and submarine support ship that first operated in 1946 for the U.S. Navy. Measuring 76 meters in length, it played a role in supporting submarine movements worldwide. After retiring from service, the ship was purchased by the Cayman Islands government in 2008. It was intentionally sunk in Seven Mile Beach, Grand Cayman with the aim of creating a new artificial reef. <music>